Hello, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new and you haven't seen this video, well, obviously, or the one before, please subscribe below. I'd love to have you have you join uh, my subscribers and my channel. We do a lot of paper crafting and junk journals and thrifting and repurposing and all of that fun uh, stuff. So today is part two of the tutorial for the June junk journal project with me. This is the Kate Greenaway journal um, featuring some work from the illustrator Kate Greenaway um, and the cover is completed and we are going to sew in the signatures. Thank you for letting me take a two day break in between. Um, I had a huh, weekend, I totally took Sunday off. I so needed a break. And today I've had doctor's appointments and running around, but it's the evening and I'm getting to it. So let's get right into it. So in, if you purchased this kit, pull out your little baggie, find the baker's twine from above par crafts. That's what we will be using. If you did not purchase this kit and you want one, there's still some in my shop. So you can click my shop link below and purchase one. Um, all of them that have been ordered are mailed out and on the way. So nobody's is left unfilled. No order is left unfilled. And um, if you just want to try to grab things from your stash to craft along, then by all means, any kind of embroidery thread or baker's twine or heavy duty like upholstery thread would work. So I hope my needle is not too big today, but um, <laughs> that's all I could find. So let's see. I just have a notebook here. So when I'm poking, I don't go into my uh, craft table space I have an awl and a uh, funny story this poor little awl it's it's end is all I don't know if you can see it's gonna get blurry but it's kind of bent over it's a cheap junk one so I ordered a nice new one and it came and I lost it I haven't even taken it out of the package and I don't know where it is so hopefully I will find it soon we have our two signatures ready to go and the first absolute necess necessity if you don't want to go crazy and pull all your hair out is to paper clip these pages together any kind of paper clips or mini um whatever these are called clothes pins will do just fine if you don't do this step uh the pages will tend to shift on you and when you're sewing it in it drives you crazy ask me how i know i've done it before so i'm just Clipping, I like to use four clips per signature. There's no exact magic position, just wherever you feel would best hold it down, but yet stay out of your way. So we've got that one clipped and we're gonna come here to our second signature and clip that one as well. Keeps everything in place where it needs to be. So there's only going to be three parts to this tutorial. Part number three will be next and that will be embellishing the inside. We are not gonna totally embellish it in the video. I'm just gonna use uh, everything that came in the kit, at least one of everything that came in the kit, and show you what I would do with it. And then it's totally up to you to do the rest. Okay, here we go. Um, here's how I do it. <laughs> there's 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 really beautiful mathematical ways where you take this ruler and you put it down the middle and you measure it. I don't do that. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do it. But what I do is I just take one signature and I kind of figure out where the middle is and I poke a hole. That's what I do. And then I kind of pick a spot at the top and I poke a hole. This all is terrible. And then I kind of judge about the same distance in the other direction and I poke a hole. And then what we're going to do is kind of go halfway between the two and poke a hole and then kind of go halfway between the two and poke a hole. So this has now become my template and I am just going to lay it on top of my other signature and make like a little book cradle here and I'm going to go back through my hole but push really hard and it will come out the second signature in exactly the same place. Um, this is just the way I am doing it. There are a lot of videos about how to do this in other ways and um, you know, there's no, there's no right or wrong way as long as it works for you. So this tends to save me the most time, um, especially if you're only doing two signatures. All right, so now they're all at the exact same placement. So I'm going to grab my cover and lay it open. 
over here and I'm gonna take one of my signatures and line it up about where I want it and grab a pen or a pencil or a marker and I should have one here. All right, I grabbed a colored pencil, it really doesn't matter. And then I'm just gonna mark on the fabric here where each of the holes are. And then I just kind of look and make sure, see I kind of I kind of didn't go quite straight here. This is my super scientific way. So I just kind of make sure that I line them up and they are straight. Um, I've done this enough to kind of know, um, I have a fairly good eye for it, but if you're concerned, all you need to do is pull out a tape measure to make sure. And then I just go next to it, but over a little bit for the second signature. And there's my template right on there. I grab that same all wherever it is hiding and I poke through all the way through. And the reason I have this behind it is so, yeah, if I poke into it, no biggie. This is not too hard to poke through because it's just cardboard, but still you need a little bit of muscle. Oh, come on, there we go. And once we have all our holes, everything will be lined up perfectly and we can begin stitching them. We are doing a simple cross stitch and hopefully I can show this clearly because um, sometimes my mind gets a little mixed up with it, but I really like the look on the outside of a simple cross stitch. So we are gonna give it a go. All right, so here's the front. Make sure all our signatures are going the right way. Uh, you don't wanna sew them in upside down. We're gonna start with the back signature and we're gonna grab our needle and thread. Okay, I hope I can do this. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've done one of these and I'm, I didn't pre-practice. Okay. So we're going in. And I'm gonna get a little bit of washi tape just to hold this down so we don't pull it out when we're going back and forth. All right, so I'm just gonna put a piece of washi right here, that way we don't lose that um, thread. Okay, so now we've come out the back and traditionally we would go either straight up or straight down into the next hole. But instead of doing that, we are going to cross over to the other. Um, so if you look, all right, let me show you here. Okay, so we would come up into this hole right here, but instead of coming up into this hole, we're gonna come up into the other hole on the other side. So I'm going to, and you just need to go slow and you need to think. So when you put the needle out here, you can see where the hole is in the fabric. If you just had the holes punched in like a cardstock cover, it would be much easier to see the holes, but fabric tends to self heal over the holes. So you need to see where that is. Now that I have come up through this hole, um, this is the other side. So we're gonna have to grab the other signature. Oh dear, okay, <laughs> I can do this. Um, and then line it up with the correct hole on the signature. And this is where the paper clips come in really handy because otherwise you would be totally fumbling, but I'm fumbling anyway, just because my angles are off. All right, so now we are gonna go up into here. And then when we come out the back, we're gonna see where we are, okay? So we are up here. And it, we don't go down into the same line, we're going to cross over traffic into the other signature. So we're just gonna see, here's the other signature. It comes out right there. So we're gonna put our needle in that and then through the appropriate hole of that signature till we come out here, okay. Then we go up, this is the easy part. Once you get to the middle, there's no crossing over to do, you just go up or down depending upon the direction you're working. And when we get up here, we take a break and we see where we are, okay. So we are not gonna go straight down. When we come to the back of the spine, we always 
cross over. And since we already have this one going here, when we cross over, we make our first X. Really exciting. So we're gonna go into this one and we can do this, right? Right into that hole. It does take some fumbling and I wanted to show you that even though I've made lots of journals and I know how journals work, it does not mean that it's super easy for me. Okay, so now that we're inside, super easy. Go down to the next hole. This is just the normal part. And through that same hole on the spine. And when we come out, we see where we are. And as you can see, I didn't make my thread long enough. So we will figure that out in just a minute. Okay, so instead of going straight up, we cross over. We're making our second X here. And, oh, okay, so we're crossing over. We are on this side. There's my needle, and it's going to go through that same hole, and we come up here. Now, since I have run out of thread, and this will probably make it stronger too, I'm going to take this washi tape off, and then I'm going to tie it off and get another piece for the rest of the spine. And that kind of already solidifies that you have finished part of it, and then you don't have to worry about it coming out when you're working on the rest of it. So I'm tying this off. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim it. Okay, we are halfway done. Look at our two little X's. They're so cute. So now we're going to get two more X's. So go back to the rest of your thread. And you could have just left one long strand if you didn't want to do it this way. Um, no biggie. Out of force of habit, I cut it in half. <laughs> because I don't normally do cross stitches. Okay, so now we are going to, let's just start at the bottom, okay? We're gonna start here, go through our spine. I hope I'm in view here, okay? That's where I'm starting. And then I'm gonna take a little bit, take that piece of washi again and hold this piece down so it is not going anywhere. All right, now that we've come out, remember on the spine we cross over, so we're, we need to find that hole. Um, and since, okay, so we are looking for this hole, so we're gonna poke it out here so we can actually see it. And then we're gonna go down through it. All right, and then we're gonna find that hole and go Okay, up there. Oh, we are doing it. All right. Here we go. Up and through that hole. Okay. And since we're on this side, we're going to go down now, cross over. So we have to find this hole on this side. The hardest part is honestly working with this fabric because it is doing a wonderful job of hiding its holes. So that's the hardest part right now is finding this. And you could practice on some cardstock because once you make that hole in the cardstock, you're going to see it. And then up through here. And this is actually a really secure binding because you're going through some of the holes multiple times. So if you really don't like loose signatures or you're concerned about the pages falling out, this is an excellent way. Okay, so we've come out here. We're gonna cross it over to make this X. So now it's getting kind of easy because we know we can see where the thread went in. We just have to line it up with the signature, go through the hole. The closer you get to the end, the easier it is. And this is our last stitch. Through there and through that last hole, we can do this. There we go. And we're back to where we started. We're gonna pull off this washi. Wow, this is really good sticking washi. <laughs> 
sometimes they don't stick very well. All right. We're going to tie it off, and I should have left a little more space, but I think I can still make this tie. And our binding is done, so we are going to trim here. Let's pull off all the paper clips so we can get the beautiful extended view. All right. There we go, people. Love it. Okay, so there we go. There's our cross stitch. Isn't it amazing? Now, if you were adding more signatures, you would do the exact same thing. You just have to think double time because you'd have three signatures and you would be making like two X's on each side instead of one. And maybe we'll have to do that sometime, but look at how neat that looks. This, the pages are in here super securely. It looks amazing. Um, very professional. So yay, and I hope you stick around. Um, tomorrow you get the next, the final video about using the embellishments. I'm so excited. And then there will be the release video for July's journal that we'll be doing together. And I am really excited about sharing that with you. I think you will really enjoy it. Um, it will be a botanical themed journal and I have some vintage fabric that I got from Habitat for Humanity and a giant roll that we will be using. So if you enjoy stuff like that, that is what our next one will be. So um, I hope that you will join my Facebook group, Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals, and Friends, so that you can show me how your journal is turning out. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.